Welcome back, everybody, to the Workers' Comp Podcast. What do we got going on today, guys? How y'all been? How y'all, how y'all feeling? How you busy? I'm good. I yeah. got a big injury. Yeah, damn, <laughs> you guys been on as many episodes as you come to have. High five. Hopefully, I mean, shake. Let's, let's, let's try to get some words out of Tracy today, man. Shake, shake. It might, it might be the day today. She a little less camera shy. That's that's what we're gonna shake my hand. I like it. It's it. So we missed a week. Our first ever miss week since the start of the pop last week. Or I guess it was two weeks ago now. At the time of this one being released. Yeah. Just you mean just one episode? Yeah, we missed one episode. Yeah. We had some technical difficulties, which has been a problem. We had the audio on the last one was pretty dog shit. I'm not gonna lie, but we're getting yeah, this one. Should be man. I don't know what the hell's going on, man. Yeah. This one's this one looks fine. Yeah. What I mean, what do you think? It's, it's funny to see. It. So the other day, uh, I was talking to Nate about it because he brought it up it, and I was like, yeah. You know, brought up some podcasts. He's like, yeah, we're, we're doing a little thing. And he was like, oh, dude, you, you should, what kind of mics you got? And I was like, I don't fucking know, but I'm nice. <laughs> and he was like, well, how much were they? And I was like, I don't, I don't know. Are they expensive? I was like, I, I don't remember. I was like, I don't, I don't know. I was like, I didn't buy them. And he was just like, oh, he goes, he might be out of your price range. He named like some brand. He's like, it's like the number one. Uh, podcast. Oh my god. Like, they're like 500 bucks a piece. And I was just like, um, I was like, I don't think you start out with those. And he's just waiting for the little clip on likes. That's all he wants, bro. He just wants the clip on likes so he doesn't have to hold the My arms get tired. <laughs> <laughs> my arms get tired. Oh, uh, like heavy, dude. No, it's not. <laughs> Me and yeah, it's not normal with it, man. Me and Jim have to feel normal with, normal with the fucking cylinder to your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, you know how it goes, My free time is my free time. Speaking of which, let's just jump right into the G Sex Live. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, so I've been talking to like five guys. <laughs> nah, no, I was been calling them the latest. That's <laughs> <laughs> dirty as fire. I hate you guys. Workers. <laughs> Uh, but I've been talking to like I think three different girls. We're seeing like the technology. I've kind of like two of them want me to be in an actual serious relationship, but the other yeah. bitch wants a dick. No, 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 I'm not ready. I'm not. I'm not. It's not that I'm not ready for it. It's just that I want that. You know, I'm not. I don't want that with them. I only want one thing, and I'm just gonna do leave and do my thing. But Tracy's asking why her mic is. <laughs> she is like that. <laughs> <laughs> Shame about it. You see it back here, back here, man. Oh, yeah. I'll leave you alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Very nice. Right. Keep going. But yeah, I mean, other than that, it's been, I got laid last week. I got laid on a Sunday. Um, it's been pretty good. I've had pretty good weeks. I mean, uh, to, on a day to day basis, I've been just like, is it because you're a roofer now? Is it like more attractive to you? Or? Yeah, geez, we're going. Nah. Yeah, it's just me and Eddie standing now. I mean, you still have, you still have the badge underneath you, but I mean, obviously you climb the ladder now to get on top of the roof. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so a better guy in the head. <laughs> nah, I mean, uh, so technically I still have, uh, like, I'm in QT. I work the weekends. That's about it. That's literally about it. I thought we weren't gonna name it. No, it's good, I can still let it Ah, shit. I still got the end of Ah, shit. But anyways, uh, I'm still, I'm still with the company, uh, on the weekends, weekdays, I'm doing my thing somewhere else. Uh, so we're on that two job grind, boys. What kind of vehicle do you have? To drive. Yeah, you already know what the fuck I have, bro. Not yours, particularly for your new job. I like the, the one the company provides. It. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a, it's like a, it's just a box truck. Like, okay, you all? Yeah, like basically like a U-Haul. Is it a piece of shit? They're all, yeah. You straight like a piece of shit. Ball tires. <laughs> you, the, one of them I pop on the drive over there. 
fire, like check engine light, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Dude, wow, that's like right. all the taxis I've been in, like down in Mexico. Every one of them has like the dash is lit up like a Christmas tree, and it's just like I don't think this is safe, but whatever, you know. Yeah, and, then, and even like the leaders, because I guess the leader is the one that drives it. Uh, they're always like, man, we always tell them to work on this shit, do this shit, but they're not doing anything about it. Has it broke down yet on me? No, one of my friends the other day, he had a he had a flat tire half on his. But nobody else, nobody's really broken down. Your females? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yo, so, I wanted to introduce it. So, we've been just kind of running a draw with these pods the last few weeks. Yeah. Which is not a problem. I like, I feel like the product has been better. Or just the vibe has been up. How do you, how do you feel about Tracy? She looks content. She's, I feel like she's uh, alive right now. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so the thing is, though, I wanted to introduce a new segment. You know, we've been building on the pod now. I was thinking today at work because my mind was like half awake, half asleep. I was doing some, looking into some business thing Eddie knows about. I'll talk to you later about it. All right. But uh, I was trying to think of some of the ideas, and I was like, you know, we come to this pod, we're all kind of dead tired pretty much every fucking week. Like, that's just how it is. Right. We were our ass off, whatever. So to get our brain started, I wanted to, like, lead into every episode with this new set segment, all right? So, so the basis is we're going to go in order every week. Um, and so, like, this week I'll start, and I'm going to give you all a hypothetical, like, a hypothetical question, and then we're going to go in and answer it. And then next week, G, you'll give, you'll give one. Mm-hmm. And then the next week, Eddie will give one that is back to me. If the code ever shows up, whatever, you know. <laughs> okay. um, what, what if we, what if, uh, when we have a guest? They'll just answer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, we won't make them come up with a Yeah. Time. But, uh, so yeah, I wanted to lead, I wanted to lead into it. You'll, you'll kind of understand what I'm saying as I go here. Yeah. I think I get what you're saying. Yeah, I'm, all, yeah. I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about dumbass over here. It's not alcoholic. No. <laughs> so, all right. The hypothetical this week, right? Uh-huh. I was thinking of one, and it kind of was just, you know, I ask you random questions all the time at work. So this, this is actually how I came up with the idea. I was going to ask you this question because, you know, you're a big car guy. Hypothetical this week. You walk into a car lot. They tell you... This has every car in the history. Year, every year, every make, every model. They tell you, you have no financial responsibility, but you get to pick one car. I mean, you're getting free gas, free insurance on that, free car, free body mods, whatever the hell you want to do to it. Everything is free. So there's no limitations on this thing. Like, I don't care if it's two miles a gallon. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to worry about it. What car are you picking? Me? I'll, I'll, I can answer first if I want me to, but you know, go for it. All right. See, I don't know exactly what year I would pick. Probably just the newest one, but I think mine would be a Porsche 911. That's a good one. I think well, my deal, my deal is just like or a Porsche. So, like, uh, so let me. Okay, so on that, why would you pick a 911? Why not a GT3? Because I feel like a 911 is like the most like. Pop culture, you know, like it's the most relevant in pop right. culture. Well, all right. Let me let me pull up a GT. So the re- I can explain the reason why I pick a Porsche. I pick a Porsche because I feel like it's you know there are more expensive cars out there. Mm-hmm. There are faster cars out there. There are better performance cars out there. All of this, but I don't know what I, I feel like. Porsche just screams aside from maybe Rolls Royce. Yeah, it just screams class. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I you know I. I it does. You can't lie about that. That's like, you see, you see a you Porsche on the road. Like, if you see a Porsche on the road, right? Like, the SUV ones, you see those everywhere, bro. Well, but, like, you see them on the road, and you're like, so you don't think that guy's rich. You think that guy, that person is wealthy. That's what you think. No. Well, here's the deal. Like, when you see the Macan. Or well off. You know what I mean? Like, that's what wealthy means. You know what a Macan is, right? <laughs> I think that's how you say Macan. I'm an alcoholic to relax. <laughs> yeah. Hey, sorry, bro. I don't know. There's just, there's something about it. So my, I think that's the one I'm talking about. 
Maybe. Yeah, that's the one we're talking about. The SUV like one. So yeah. Like before the car market really got stupid, like you could buy a brand with like fifty grand. I mean, yeah, like that's what I'm saying. I think seventy was like. But you see, then you're kind of like that person's probably well off, well off, wealthy, whatever. I, I, I hope so. But then again, you got you know people that, that we technically work with that you know drive very expensive. Well, yeah, but I'm saying like, like that's what you would choose. Yeah, that's just what I would choose. So you could pick the 911. Yeah. See if if I was to do it. And See, but, but here's the thing about this. In this hypothetical, it doesn't, you know, like, performance-wise, I can make it whatever I want. Like I said, like, you get an infinite amount of money for body mods, gas, it doesn't matter. I just think the 911 will look, one, it's probably the most relevant Porsche in pop culture. So the GT3 is a 911. The thing is, it's like... So is it just modded of the app? Oh yeah. Like it is. is it kind of like I'm not saying it is, but is it kind of like it, what what Hennessy does? It, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So they send it to you know, it's kind of like Mercedes has the uh, AMG model. Someone builds it. Like, yeah. So it's just a build of that model. And, like for instance, from what I understand, like AMG, the guy. Who selected to build that particular AMG model? And I don't know if it's a bunch of models in a row or if it's just that particular car. I would think it's all those cars in, you know, a, a big, big bunch of them, but they just like all crazy shit. And I'm like, see, when you're, you're saying this, because my second option would be the uh, Camaro Exorcist, which is fancy. Yeah. But. Um, I think the 911, I don't know, there's some sort, there's something that screams out to me about, you know what I mean, like, okay. just the class of it. Plus, if you, you know, if you take just the base 911 and you get to do whatever you want with it, then maybe, you know, there's different mods you want to put on it than the GT3 has. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, you're basically, I don't know, dude, I don't, I don't see, I guess it isn't really show. Um... There was one specific one I saw when I looked at like the four time levels, like it comes up with the twenty twenty two time levels. Mm-hmm. And there is there was one specific one, it was white with red, like like a light red trim. Like it was very, very, very clean. Yeah, across the car, but they was smooth. That one caught my eye. Yeah. So now do you have to give the answer to that? Okay, um... Chevy <laughs> Civil No. Uh, 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 since, since I have no limitations on this, I'm like, literally, I know this car is known for being a piece of shit, but uh, I think I would go with the Ford GT, just because it's unique and it's not... GT40, right? Yeah, you're talking about the GT40, right? I think... I think to me and you are not quite car guys, so like, yeah, I mean, that's why I thought Eddie would like to stand. That thing's kind of well, the new I kind of fuck with that one. That 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 one, yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's what I want. That's the that's what I would do. Yeah, have you seen the new one? I could be wrong. I don't really. No, it's not. No, it's it's. It, it, it they just came and you can only buy it if you had the old like version of it. No, I don't think I thought. No, here we go. GT40 2022. That is bad. Oh wow. Okay, yeah. I have this with that one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They're pretty nasty. Nice, Kind of, and I'm like, you know, is that like, kind of thing of a player? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, you know, since you said that, I got two, two different cars I would go between, and that would be definitely, uh, let's see, which one I would go with. I got an idea of what you would go with, but I was probably wrong. Thank you. What's the car you have? Uh, the, the one down, the, the one in the garage that I guess. Um, man, that's a tough one, dude. 
So you just get your brain working and it kind of wakes you up. I would probably, you know, if it. Let's see. Let's see if it will bring it up. Yes. Yeah, I'd go with the bands. Um, well, we're out with G-Way. Yeah, I'd definitely. <laughs> G-Way, pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. Nope, it's off. <laughs> <laughs> so, I really like, wow. Yeah, I guess it was sitting on my door for a while. Um, I would say any bins that's an AMG model, um, or I would do a McLaren. Well, McLarens are so clean. Like a P1. They're so clean. But I remember playing no racing to on my iPad. Yeah. And I would always just immediately go like, what car can I buy? McLaren. Fucking buy, buy, buy. Yeah. Out, bring up, bring up. I think it was kind of fun. There was actually one in Weatherford one time that I seen. It was nice, but it was raining like a motor. I don't know why. Right. Yeah. So my grandpa has a Corvette club, mm-hmm. and uh, they go to this car show, and it was his birthday when they were doing it, so I went up there. I told you about this, I'm pretty sure, about us fucking flying a Corvette. Mm-hmm. But, but, bro, there were so many nice cars there. I mean, there, were, there was two Bugattis. A Lambo, God, man. Or no, two Lambos and a Bugatti, and then there was a, there was the Porsche 911. That's what really got me thinking about it, just because I saw it, you know. And you're sitting there seeing it, like, face to face, and it's not like a dealership car. Like, you're not just, like, looking at it. Like, this is somebody's car that's yeah. sitting right in front of you. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, that car's pretty clean. See, and I like, I like the older, 911s, like a 99. See, I like those too. I don't like, but I, I like those, and I, you know, I wouldn't buy one because, you know, times have changed, and you know, but at the same time, that's the big problem with like, you know, if you're gonna you know, buy a little car like that, you're, you're kind of investing. You're investing, but that car and it's something that could definitely depreciate. Yeah, it's not something that like it's not a safe play. You know? Yeah. I mean, well, my first car, my first, my first car was a Porsche 944. Yeah, you told me that. So, you know, I ended up, I ended up buying it so cheap, and it was, the guy worked at a four block Porsche, and he just had it in his garage, and, uh, he ended up getting it for, I think he had about 4900 bucks, he wanted 4900 bucks for an hour, and like 31, he took it. You know, he's just like, I need space in my garage, I want my garage back. He's like, I, you know, this car doesn't mean anything to me. I work with, you know, half a million dollar bullshit, you know, whatever. But anyway, so yeah, I drove that thing for a long time. And it, probably during the year, it was fast. It's not, not a very fast car in today's term. But yeah, it's, see, I'm not looking, I'm not looking for a car that's gonna like, run me through, the, you know, like I'm not trying to outrun a car or anything like that. Like, that's not what I'm trying to do here. I just want a car that like, you know, one that's gonna catch people's attention. You ever like, you ever, even those, the ones you just pull up, the SUV ones, you see yeah. in the past, you still look at it and you're like, you know, it's a poor channel. I mean, it don't get catches off. people's attention. I was looking at, at those at one point in time. I remember, I just, and yeah, it's, it's crazy. I don't know if you've seen like the inside, like the dad, like the amount of buttons, like the, I think uh, it's insane. The, what was the four door one? Camara, Camara, I think. Same thing. It's just, there's so many buttons on that. I'm like, bro. Like, 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 and, I, you know, you don't, so, like, when you think about like the BMW, I think we've talked about this on here before, how, like, they're infamous for their problems. horrible, horrible problems. Like, yeah. you're going to have problems, and they're going to overcharge your fucking fix it. Well, and, 
And then you don't hear that about a company like Porsche, which I think is a big deal. I mean, obviously, if you have your examples, just like, you know, you don't hear that about Kia, but you, you have your experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like, I mean, <laughs> just like when I was talking to my lawyer at one point in time, um, and I was for my car, we're going through all the issues, um, but they said there's always, you know, just one, one out of the bunch that makes, you know, an actual, Car icon just look bad, yeah. and you know, like she, you know, like she told me. Uh, with, 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 well, with my Kia, she was like, you know, I, I haven't represented Kia. I don't know what I'm getting into. You know, you really don't have these claims as much as you do other vehicles. Um, you know, and it kind of made me feel good and bad at the same time. I was like, okay, I just had a piece of shit. So what can we do about it? And, you know, kid basically played their cards and they won't, but at the same time, like, you lost, you lost the customer. Yeah, for and sure. Everybody that brings it up is like, I'm going to shit on yeah. their we, name. I told you, me and you were talking about, I didn't even know you had a kid and I was just kind of going through like reputable, like, yeah. you know, these companies that you're not going to do, like, I would never try to show me something. Yeah. I'm sure there are better out there that go to the same product. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's also the way you handle it. Yeah. But like, I mean, see, that was the thing. I wasn't an asshole. I almost, I almost thought about saying Nissan Rogue just because you've heard me talk about Nissan Rogue. So Nissan, <laughs> Nissan Rogue have, have grown up. Yeah, they're actually pretty nice now. But, it's, it's, it's one of those things, like if someone, like, if someone approaches us and is an asshole, you're less likely to help them out. Oh, for sure, yeah. And I, and I went through that, you know, basically killed them with kindness the whole time, just, you know, you know, very politely. I didn't demand anything. It's like, hey, what can we do from here? You know, I'm just, I mean, I'm following your rules. Can you just work with me? Yeah, basically, yeah. basically that thing. And it was kind of like, okay. And it was just like, it, it was just like a merry-go-round. Like, I was starting, I was start to get somewhere, start to get somewhere. And then I started the beginning again. And it's just like, what the hell is going on? All I want you to do, I'm not asking you to, you know, give me a brand new car. All I'm asking you to do is basically buy my car for what I pay for it, I'll repay for the warranties, I'll repay for everything else. You sold me it, you sold me a back. You sold me a duck. Yeah. I just want it replaced with a, the same freaking car, just without these issues. I mean, can you do that? Bro, the guy basically looked at me and laughed. And that's what, that's what just pissed me off. Before I even did anything, before I would have got an attorney, anything, once he laughed, yeah. once he laughed in my face, you were like, I was just like, I was just like, okay, well, thank you for your time. And that's when I got to the turn. Like, it wasn't until then, like, I was willing to work, you know, if they took a thousand, two thousand dollars off the price tag. Okay, I'll be cool with that. I'm cool with that. Well, that's, that's super dude, unprofessional too. Dude, and, and this is traded you for a used one, you know what I mean? Like, it didn't even, it had, it could have been the same mileage, it could have been more exactly. miles. Like, exactly. just do something. Exactly. I'm not asking you to. And that was the thing. I'm not asking for a brand new car with zero miles, fresh off the lot, a year ago. I'm asking you just to help me. Yeah, like, it, and that was the thing. It wasn't, and that's basically what I told him. I'm like, you know, I, just show me what you have on your lot, you know, Let's work on, you know, getting me basically even. Like, I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't feel like I should be screwed on this basically because you sold me this car. Basically, knowing. And you, you know, you know what? I think that, I think that owner would feel the same way. If, if you got a dead car, I just keep, he'd be more than willing to. And, dude, and that's the whole thing. It, it's, it's, that's the whole thing. I, and at right. one point in time, I was like, and this has worked for me before. One time I went to Best Buy, I bought a laptop. Um, it worked great for, I think it had it for 31 days, 32 days. It worked great. 32 days, it was just going haywire. I couldn't do nothing on it. So I, I took it up to Best Buy. Was that passing? What was it, 30 day, one year, 90 day? 30 day. So yeah, I had the same thing happen with an iPhone, and that's, 
And that experience turned me off of iPhone because the way they treated me. That's why I have my iPhone yeah. now because I, just, I won't go back to Apple. Like, so I refuse to buy anything at Apple just because of that one. It was, so you know they had the one year period warranty? Yeah. It was one year and five days. Yeah. And they wouldn't help me at all about it. And it was like Bluetooth wouldn't work, yeah. Wi Fi wouldn't work. And, that, and that's, you know, and that's something you expect. Just like when they try to sell me the warranties now, I don't buy the warranties. No, no, no not on anything, because it's so I got scam. It was the same thing. I bought the warranty on my first one, and I upgraded there, and they, you know, they still got whatever. I paid yeah. three hundred dollars for a new phone. It was only like a seven hundred dollar phone, so yeah. I still felt like I won. You know, like I paid a hundred dollars for this warranty, I got three hundred dollars off this car, I got four hundred dollars off this phone. Exactly. And it was a win. Well, then when I got that wreck. The phone was gone. Yeah. And the warranty I bought was lost and broken in protection. And they didn't And they it. said, I was like, you know, what can we do? I had the warranty, you can pull it up. And they're like, well, you have no proof you lost it. And I was like, it's the point of the lost protection. Like, yeah. It's, it's gone. Yeah. Like, I mean, need a new phone. It's, it's gone. I lost it. It's out my car window. I got a wreck. I already was going through this. Like, it's been 24 hours of dog shit. Like, it was a horrible wreck. You know, I don't have a car, I don't have a vehicle, I don't have a phone, I can't even talk to my family that are hundreds of miles away from me. I can't talk to anybody. Yeah, I'm fucking screwed. Right yeah, but like, I'm mean, literally I mean, an hour away from my school, don't have a job because I'm, you know, I'm, like, I'm in athletics, can't, I don't have time for a job, I, I need a phone. I, I had, listen, I, I will be honest, I saved up money going into it, so like I had money to replace the shit. Yeah. It was just more annoying that like I paid the extra a hundred dollars for the warranty yeah. because y'all did something for me before. Yeah. And now y'all are flipping with the bird for the lost and broken protection you have. But I can't prove that it's lost. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. So yeah, that's what pissed me off here. So, and I'm so shocked at that. I'm just shocked at that. So, so this is the thing. The price tag on the car that I bought. It was like twenty four nine, right? Um, it was it was a demo lease, demo demo or yeah demo lease something like that. So it had eight hundred eight hundred some odd. It's, so it's the car that they used to test drive, right? Is that how it works? Yeah, and and that's where I kind of screwed up because um we we like it's the car they took to, like car shows and they let you test drive. Well, how do you drive a, a, a car like that? You give it all the gas. Yeah, you know, you're, you're not taking it easy. Which I know people, I know people who, well, well when, you, when, that you test drive a, when you test drive a car, like they, they should expect you to at least floor it at least once, you know what I'm And here's the deal, like the guy was like, hey, um, you know, if anything goes wrong, you got the 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty. Like, guarantee anything goes wrong, it's gonna be fixed. And then he's like, one thing that you can buy on top of this is this other warranty, and it, re- and it and it basically replaces anything on this car. Anything, everything is under warranty. He goes, your windshield wiper, um, or what he said, no, he said, your, one of your lug nuts get lost. Bring it up here, we'll replace it. You know, your radio screen does something crazy, we'll replace your radio. And it was like, okay, you know, whatever, it was two thousand dollars. Um, but some seems nice. worth it. Like, yeah, seems worth it. it. You, the, the, the and you're setting up. up. This shit, this shit saved me. That's the only thing I will say that saved me on this. Because, gee, your camera. Because when they ended up, they had it for like a month. And, uh, it was like three weeks actually, almost a month. But um, took it in there. That was when I told you I took. I had a full tank of gas. When I got back in, like twelve miles to empty, you know, and I was just like, "Come on, guys! Like, really? You can't put some gas." But anyways, besides that point, like they ended up replacing the top end of the motor. They replaced every sensor on that motor, and if that, if I didn't have a warranty, it would have cost me $3,600. Just, just for the sensors. Sensors are expensive, man. Just for the sensors. And then, uh, like, six months later, I ended up taking it in there, and uh, that's when they replaced the whole motor. 
and they replace like some other bullshit sensors in there. So I uh, total cost. I, I I wish I would kept the the folder I had because I just had all the work. Like it was a thick folder, dude. Like I had the car less than two years, and I had a folder like this thick of just all the paperwork. Every time I took it in to get something done to it, and it was just continuous. Like I think I had rental cars more than I had my own car. That's what was crazy. <laughs> yeah, like I had drove like every single car. That Kia has put out between 2018 and 2020, besides the Stinger, of course, just like, and I know what, they progressively gotten better. Like, you know, all their cars come with that, you know, you don't have to touch the steering wheel, it kind of just stays in between the lines, uh, it, you know, whatever. But there was one point in time where when I first talked to my attorney, though, she was like, so what are you trying to get out of this? You know, what are you trying to get out of it? And I was like, I just want the car replaced. And she's like, yeah, everybody kind of wants their car replaced. It's going to, you know, kind of escalate to something more than that. And like, she's like, kind of stick to something more simpler to get this done in a, in a very quick, you know, time. And I was like, well, you know, if they get me somewhere a little bit more than what it's worth, you know, because I think at that point in time it was worth like 19000 I paid twenty four. So, so was, yeah, like twenty twenty one, twenty two, something like that. She's like, okay, that sounds kind of reasonable. And uh, she was like, you know, what car would you be willing, because they're probably going to want you, to, for this to go down, they're probably going to want you to come in and buy one of their vehicles off the lot. I said, okay. And I was like, shit, I'll buy a stinger from them, you know? So I went in there and I looked at the most expensive stinger. It was like $55,000. Very, you know, Kia, which I don't know why I would even do, but um, I think they're a nice car. We go in there and tell them that, you know, I was like, you know, I'd be willing to trade this in, you know, if you would be willing to you know, kind of give me more than what it's worth since I've been having all these issues with it so we can get rid of this car. You'll never have to see this car because, you know, you'll take the option to sell it, blah, blah, blah. Dude, they offered me like 14 grand for it. And it was just like, okay, y'all just mean, you know, dicks. So, you know, and that's just, and that's just how they played it. And I don't even think my lawyer or my attorney, whatever she was, even contacted them yet. Like, she basically just had, like, a sit down with me, you know, what are you trying to get out of this situation, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, dude, I just, I just want my time. You know, I, I think my time is valuable here, so if they're willing, you know, basically just get me into something that's more reliable. Just like, as a convenience thing. Like, yeah. You inconvenience me to this point for almost two years. I mean, when you pull up to the place and they already know what your name is, they only had to punch in the computer, like, that's when you know it's an issue. And like I said, I was always nice. They were always cool with me. It was just the big guys that were basically like, we got your money, you bro. Should. Yeah. yeah. That's, see, that's a big deal for me because, like, so you think about you think about us, and we were your customers, so we know how we want to be talked to as employees. Yeah. So, you know, when you're talking about the way you treat other people, I mean, yeah, sure, like, temper some flair or whatever. Yeah. But, like, when you're in customer service, you know what somebody else who's in customer service, customer service is expecting to get from the customers. Like, mm -hmm. Not, I'm not saying you're being manipulative, you're just being kind of more courteous because yeah. you know how you would want to be taught. It's like going more with it. You know how you want to be treated. Well, you know, if I'm taking my time to do that for you, and as somebody in customer service, you're still being shitty to me even though I'm being nice to you. Yeah, I understand. Like, when people get mad at some of the employees we have, you yeah. know, because they have a shitty attitude. I get it. But, like, if I come with a nice attitude, like, yeah, help me out, bro. Yeah. I'm not saying, I understand, bro, you can fight in that situation. You're talking about seven grand. I could see you being a little, not you, but like, yeah. I could see them being like, how about we negotiate this? Exactly. And that's all I wanted. Like, I'm not looking to come out of that. I, I understand, like, I put miles on this car. I put a lot of miles on this car. Like, I did. So, yeah, so you're like, I'm looking for 22. They're like, we'll give you 14. How about 20? Yeah. Oh, 
I think the best you can do here is 18. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Deal. You know? Yeah. And, and what's crazy, they offered me that not even a year to have in that car. 14 grand and paid 22. Yeah, so you're telling me this car depreciated, which obviously it has its problems. That's a, that's a big deal. It's but, grand, yeah. but it's problems that under my warranty yeah. should be able to fix. But then, you know, to, at the end of my two year term with it, I took it to the same dealership just on the other side of town and they gave me 16 for it. So then I kind of kicked myself in the ass. I was like, I should have just took it to them. Since they already knew me, I could have took it to them. They probably offered me what I wanted for it. So, I mean, in the end, it was just one of those things that you just lost a customer. Like, yeah, yeah you might not see it as a big deal, but word gets out, like, how shitty you are. I mean, it's going to trickle down. People are going to be like, and then, you know, hopefully, you know, it never happens to anybody else, but I'm pretty sure it's going to, but. This is big business, bro. Yeah. And it sucks. Like, how much would it cost Kia just to scrap that car versus how much they make? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. 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 I don't know. They, what they should have done, and they should have took it from me. I mean, they had it for a month. They should have took it. Just, you know, look, like, the total cost of everything they replaced in that car was almost $12,000. See, here's, here's what you say to me that, like, what? In, in the stories you've told me about all this and what we've talked about this today, right? Yeah. It's a hundred thousand dollar warranty. If you can see where these problems are going, how about we replace it and not try to trick you into going over that hundred thousand? Like keep sending you out into it until you give them that hundred thousand. And that's what they did. That's what they did. That's, yeah. they did. that's all they did. Yeah. Simply put, that's all they did. What they should have done was been like, all right, well, we've gone through the sensor thing, then we went through the motor of the sensor thing, you know. If he wants to bring it back in and it's 100,000 miles, we should probably just replace it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that, that should be the bottom line. And obviously that didn't happen. Yeah. That's a big, a big deal. Like, but I think mean, that's just something that, like, yeah, as a car dealership and like these mechanics and stuff, they know, like, they know, they can see when a car is not going to be yeah. worth the shit. Like, yeah. they know what they're really see. Well, yeah. and, and that's what, you know, a lot of, a lot of times, what I look at now is to see, you know, what a mechanic drives up in. You know, when they come into the store and they're, you know, have their, I don't know, Bruce Lauer Chevrolet and they pull up in a Nissan or, you know, a Ford or something. It's kind of like, well, aren't you, you know, driving your brand? You know, is, do you know more? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Because they know. know. They do know. I was know, talking obviously. to somebody who came in. That worked at the Honda across the interstate. Mm-hmm. And he goes, we are like, what do you drive? And he drives, he drove a Nissan. Yeah. And I was like, no. Why? And he was like, well, he, he said, oh, I've been saving up to buy a, a Honda. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, whatever it is across the street. Uh, no way. And I'm like, how long have you been working there? He's like, I've been working there for like three years. I'm like, you know, if you've been working there for three years and, and you've been planning to buy a Honda this whole time, there's probably some bullshit you're saying just to sell something. Well, it's price. Something. And it was, you know. And then I was like, you know, did you buy the car that you're driving? Maybe you drove a job. You drove a Dodge. You drove a uh, Challenger. That's right. Yeah. And he was like, I was like, did you, did you buy the Challenger from the place you work? Like, how long have you had it? He's like, oh, I've had the car for two years. And I was like, so you've worked at the Honda longer yeah. than you've had this car yet. Did you buy it? The Dodge at the Honda, you know, like, yeah, I just talked to it. No, I bought the fourth. Yeah, this isn't adding up, but yeah, what do you know? Like, what do you, what's wrong with, what's wrong with Hondas? Yeah, but I mean, you go work at Dodge, like, what, what, what are we doing? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I mean, everybody has their own personal preference, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, if, if, if I wasn't the guy that I am, and I didn't care about reliability. Yeah, I drive a lot of different cars. Yeah. But I don't want to be that guy on the side of the road all the time. 
mean, we could just for those you know, blue collar jobs where we have to we have to get something reliable. We have to get something that can take yeah. us from point A to point B. Because we don't have we don't have the money to just yeah. I mean, we throw at our car if it yeah. fucks up. Yeah, yeah. because I mean, we lose a day of work. Yeah, I like to I like to take a few months. I don't ever have a really good conversation here. But I just got a text. And I want to congratulate our uh, our guests that will be appearing next time we meet up. He is officially 1-0 in his coaching career with middle school football. Okay. Let's go. That's a, Let's go. That's a dub. That's, that's, that's good. Yeah, he apologized he couldn't make it today, but... That's fine. I mean, he's 1-0. He's training those one one athletes. You've been working them. I, th- I think... I mean, I'm... They don't know yet on the pod, but we do. And I think I think you should be like a host. Like I'm like we we I mean, we'll, we have to discuss it. Uh, well, we got we got to see what what's in the making first. Like we okay. got to see the you know the the yeah. I'll read you the text he said because it was pretty funny. I, he goes, I was like you know. Eddie's leaving on Sunday, Cancun. Uh-huh. Uh, can you do one tonight? He's like, I got a football game tonight. And Hazel was like, damn. He said, I'm sorry, I'm family. I said, Bob, where you got a job? He said, yeah, but screw that job. Podcasts are more fire than a full time job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we're not making money yet. Yes. We got something in the works, maybe, possibly. Then go. Just to, just to have a a sponsor, you know, not, yeah. even, not even for the That's money. That's what I'm saying, bro. Just, yeah, just, have somebody, just to be known. You just know to have somebody that... Well, just to say at the end of your podcast, hey, you know, we're, you know... They, they, you know shout out to this person. Shout, yeah, shout out to this person that we're obviously raising someone's eyebrow. You know? Yeah, we're, we're in the works on it. So, once that starts <laughs> happening, because the first time, you know, when, when, when you know, something does start happening, we got to replace for sure. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that if we see this going somewhere, we can put more money into it. It's an investment thing. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, the better it's doing, the more we can yeah. invest. Right, right now, I don't feel like it's there. Replace that over yeah, there. Yeah, you're fucking with a sunk, maybe. Jesus Christ, you're fucking cannon. <laughs> <laughs> we'll replace that with we'll fucking mics. I mean, I don't we'll know. We'll replace the place, bro. Well, yeah. well, we gotta replace the code first, but we'll, we'll replace the we'll, 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 I mean, these are kind of like casting couches, huh? I mean, yeah. yeah. I, I, well, I like the couch. I think we can have more decor. Yeah. Make the little palm tree over there. I do. Oh, we can have the dual in the dark. Yeah, like the, the, I'm not the dual in the dark. Like like the, you know, like the, oh, the I can draw pictures on the wall and then we can turn the lights out, huh? I already know what picture I'm going to Oh my god. <laughs> you don't want to know what you do so I know what to draw. See, I think we should make this wall a whiteboard. You know what I mean? We can start a whiteboard? Or you can draw it? it? Or it's, that'd that'd be, be pretty cool. Or a chalkboard. No, fucking chalkboard, because then Eddie would be in the middle of the pod just fucking just, just, uh, uh, just like they do in a jumper, where they have that wall. Yes, yeah, yeah they would be able to draw a palm tree right there. Alright, sure. Those are clean tees. I'll see if my Kyle got to put some power on <laughs> but, um, um, you just No, but yeah, I mean, we're obviously working on that. And um, what were you saying before we got on to our guest, our future guest? Oh, yeah, don't buy a Kia. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, August was the biggest month. We were in September. Yeah, that's my birthday. August was the biggest month of my YouTube channel's career. July, July was previously the biggest month, and then August passed the meeting. Oh, really? Let's yeah, go. So, um, so now it's like, man. September, we gotta, we gotta run it up. You know what I mean? We got this. I've been doing a lot of behind the scenes shit, you know, editing the studio now. Um, but we're working on that. We had the merch drop last month that did all right. Um, could have seen it return eventually. We should we should put clone clone word on there for sure. That's gotta happen. Yeah, <laughs> and then I'll have like in the side of it, and I'll have L E L. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm messing with it, but yeah. So veins and everything. We're <laughs> the way he just looks at me, man. <laughs> We're working on a lot. 
I'm hoping September's huge. Uh, the, the big deal here is this might be, we might not see an episode here for another two weeks. Well, 22 years ago, it was huge. <laughs> uh, sorry. That was 21 years ago. Was it? Oh, 20 years ago. I don't know, I don't know what y'all were talking about. I was talking about something different. What were y'all talking about? We, we can't even say, we can't say, I know what you're talking about. The Porsche. Yeah. What were y'all thinking I was talking about? The Porsche. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's when I got my Porsche. I still have it, by the way. It's in the shoe. You got it. We're good. I can't tell if you understand what I'm saying or not. Yeah, no, that's actually the year I got the Porsche. The Porsche 911? No, not the 911. My 944. The 911. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, we're talking about that. That's <laughs> I'm supposed to be the dumb one, bro. I'm supposed to. Well, what I the fuck were you talking about? about? 22 years ago in September? 22 right, years ago. That's actually when I got my Porsche. But actually? Yes. <laughs> so I <laughs> did Jesus Christ, y'all were talking about destruction of buildings and y'all were laughing about it? Y'all were sick. Dude, we're not yeah, no. It was you. You caught us off guard. My bad, guys. I, I didn't go there. I didn't mean to go there, but I guess I did. I didn't think about that. It is what it is, man. <laughs> you can't, you can't, we can't take anything back now. Though. Maybe we should discuss that right now. I'm just no. no. <laughs> Let's not do that. Man. Let's put that in a locker with, uh, um, Yes. 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 That's yes. That's, that's, that's come out on a lock. The man's name. Shut the fuck up. What? So I is in the lock. He. But did you see? Lock. Did you see how many people they're bringing like into this? Crazy. I was watching the thing. They're bringing like a whole bunch of dudes into it. But anyways, safe, shut, key, lock. Both of those are in there for now. Okay. <laughs> Both of those topics can't do it. Uh, but anyways, what was your car? What do you mean? Well, what was the name of the car? The GT40. The GT40. Well, the GT40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that car is sick, dude. I would love it. But the, I, I hear they're awful. Like, one wiring goes down and the whole car is Can't be as bad as a BMW and people still drive those, so. I never heard that, G. I've really? I've never heard that. I've, I've heard, like, some people saying, like, Chevy guys. Chevy, or Chevy guys always have something against Ford. No, I mean, I, I don't have. No, 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 but I'm just Ford's saying. Ford's coming up. I like, I hate Ford. Like, they I think for the no, trash dog. The, uh, it's funny, like, you cheaper, they use cheaper shit in the engine. Like, cheaper. But I mean, I, what is it? What is it? They do actually the, use the, the, the 3500, what is it? What is it? The diesel. The diesel. Um, the diesel. The, 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 the 250s. The 250s. Oh, the S. Those the are. F-350. You're looking for the F350. The F3, the, the, F250, F350. Those are like top of the line, like, you can't get any better than those uh, at that level. Oh no, dude! Oh, is, that, you know. is the Chevy Silverado that has the King Ranch? Or is that the Ford? The Ford. Ford. Yeah, the, 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 the King Ranch. Or you can get the one you like, or you can get the trimmer edition. Or you can get a Raptor. I mean, I get a Raptor. I don't have a problem with any of them. I'm telling you though, if you get a chance, like when the Dallas car convention gets here, just go and just test. Like they pay you to test drive their cars. Like, Ford will give you like a $10 Starbucks gift card. That sounds like sus. I mean, they gotta compensate you to drive their cars because they have no idea if you're well, gonna die or not. Well, dude, like, the, like, this is what's <laughs> great. You, That's very true, but at the same time, like, don't, don't you just wanna, like, drive and just. Look because here's the deal. You test drive it, you're more than likely, like, you're probably gonna go and look at these vehicles, like, the one that you like. And, like, Toyota probably had the best, best track. Because the first thing you had to do was they had this, like, mechanical mount, like, it was like this uh, bar, I don't know exactly. how to explain it, but you go up it. Is it Tesla that test drive their car on those, like, Norwegian ice flakes or whatever? Yeah, something like that, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Can you imagine, like, that's what you have to do? You have to fucking test drive it on ice flakes? See, that shit would be bad. Like, yeah. in, like a, in, like, a contained area, obviously, so, like... If you hit something, you're fine. So like, it's, it's not gonna like padding or something. So there's something I kind of want to try. So supposedly, if you put salt or rice in a circle around like a Tesla, 
it won't go anywhere because it doesn't know what to do. What the fuck? Like, it doesn't want to get <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, what that. Hard to drive. I don't Let's go to what's your name's car. Uh, you can see uh, it. No, I'm just kidding. You can still drive. <laughs> dude, knows, dude, I don't even know if she's still. I mean, I'm pretty sure she. I don't know, dude. Do you think she still has it? <laughs> oh, wait, I, I don't know, bro. I haven't talked to her. You probably. I mean, see. Now I'm thinking about this, right? What's up? What is. So, so, hi, on me, son, right? What if me and my girlfriend took our cars up? And we traded up. both of them for yeah. one car? No, for two cars. Oh, oh I thought you were going to pull them. We traded them in for a 370Z and a Rogue. And then whoever has a kid drives the Rogue, whoever doesn't, just drive the 370Z. Well, they get the force 400Z. Yeah, but I'm not that <laughs> much. <laughs> Did you see how much they are, dude? <laughs> no. Is, it th- is there a 350Z? Yeah. I think that's what my girlfriend wants. 2005. Yeah, I think that's one more. 2005. <laughs> I don't think she can do more with Dude, her. 2005 to 2009. Uh, that motor, that motor's whack. I think she can do more with like a drift car. A drift car? Your girlfriend's a drift car? My girlfriend's fucking crazy with car, car cars. I don't know. Just, like, go go see UTI. Bro, what is she on UTI for? To be a mechanic. Car mechanic? Yes. No doubt. Yeah, that's, that's right. cool. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's pretty cool. I tell that. Yeah. What is she going to do? Be, like, be a mechanic? Or she, or like, I mean, she wants to be a customs mechanic eventually. That's dope. That's cool. They, they you know who has a badass car right now? Who? Whistling Diesel. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Dude, he has a 16. Dude, have you seen it? So, is it the G-Wagon? <laughs> no, 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 no. He has a 16, 69 Charger. And they, like, he took it to a shop and they built it up. Anyways. Like, I'm pretty sure if you showed your girlfriend that car, she would be like, she watches them. Okay. Yeah. She's, so she's probably seen it. Dude, it's, it's, it's awesome. I don't know. I don't, see, this is one very high disconnect we have. You know, you talk to most, you know, a lot of guys are in cars. Like, she's yeah. got like three girls in that entire school right now. Like, in the entire, enrolled in the entire yeah. school. I believe that. In every girl. class. Like, she's the old, one of three girls in the whole place. So like you know you talk to a couple most of the time a guy will be into a guy will be into cars and the girlfriend's like that's how we are like she'll talk to dudes about cars and I'll just be sitting there like we saw uh, roads bro we saw roads I see you we saw roads get grace grass my other have a lot of a lot of I mean I I can have, I can have a conversation about a car but I can't get. Like, let's have a conversation about I can talk about no, I, I, I can't. I can't talk about that view as you, man. I can talk about cars about the level that we've been talking about. Cars yeah, today, dude, at this level, like, I know models, models, I know makes, I know kind of price of. ranges, you know what I mean? Do you know? I don't know price ranges. I, I know fair, I got a good idea. But it's only because I look them up because I, I like with the 911, bro. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to tell you. I love the 911. Until, until I started looking into it and then I'm like, yeah, well, you know, kind of, you can get a base model you starting out. Like, you get an automatic, though, right? No, no. If I drive a car like that, no. I'd probably get automatic. Really? Dude, you can't shift it fast enough. You can't. Oh, See, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, races, man. I'm not, dra- I'm not, dra- like, I'm not, if I'm driving a 911, I'm not driving a track race. So I'm going to explain it. Oh, I'm driving them over fast. <laughs> <laughs> and automatics when races, man. Automatics when races. I mean, because you're, you're, you're dealing with a human, like, obviously you're shifted, right? And it takes like, oh, yeah. Even if it takes like a point two millisecond, whatever. Bro, speaking of the Corvettes, I rode in the, uh, the, the C, is it C, C8? Yeah. Is it C9? What's the newest one? I have never heard one. Oh. Is that the one? Did they change the model? Is that C9? I think so. It's a C8. It's the one no, that's a C9. Yeah. Rear. Bro, that thing's fucking crazy. Yeah. We, I was riding it, and... The seats are uncomfortable, though. You can, you can fucking change the way the car sounds while you're driving it. Really? Like, the way the, the way it sits. It's in the speakers. Yeah, like, but but not interior. Like, there's like a speaker tour. I don't know where it is. You can change the way the exhaust sounds. So like it, he was like, yeah, so if I want to drag race somebody, I literally put it on this and you can read it and it literally makes a different sound. Like complete, like you can tell it's different. It sounds like, like, so like you're, 
a damn air based car. Yeah. And then you get to change back to normal and it's quiet. You can turn it down, you can turn it up. I don't know what the fuck this thing is. It is fucking insane. It's I don't know about Tony, bro. And then you know, like, that's 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 I get to me, right? Yeah. But being able to tune it on your radio screen yeah. is fucking nuts. Well, that's technically the computer of the car. Right? I mean, that's, that's basically your computer. Of yeah, the car. but like having that set. You know, like, imagine if your camera had a setting to do that from the yes. radio. Yes. You, know, you can do that from the radio? I mean, the new ones, yes. Okay, maybe the new ones. But, yeah. like, but no, I would change your car. Like, that's just fucking, to me, that's the same. That's, that's the same. same. Yeah, I don't have anything right I, I think the, the, I mean, I know for sure the GTR has that. Um, and I, and I think, you know, I, I don't know about the GTR, um, but you can do a lot of cool shit with that car. And for the money, dude, like, if you really look at it now, for the money, that car is just golden. Like, they're selling a 400Z for the same price as a GTR. Which one would you buy? GTR is GTR, right? Yes. Okay. That's what I thought. No. I get the GTR. I get the GTR and the GTR too sometimes, okay? No, Listen, it's a little, it's a little, dude, some of the names are a little close. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. I'll yeah. see somebody grab, like, somebody will be showing, like, a GT, like, on YouTube or something like that. I'll be like, oh, this thing is something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And then I see the car, like, they're talking about it. Like, and then I see the car, and I'm like, oh, obviously, the see, not the Nissan. I don't know what the Nissan looks like. Yeah. I, you know, I, I look at cars a little bit. I don't have like a chosen car. I don't judge people by, I mean, I do judge some people by the cars by what they put on it, but, you know. I do, there, there are certain people I will judge about it because they talk about cars like they know cars. Like, me and G, obviously, no, we just admitted we don't know cars to that level. And you gotta be up. Yeah, exactly. Like that. Or you have a female we work with that I'm not gonna explain, but, she claimed, like, yeah, I'll talk with the Nissan Rogue, but I've given you the specs of the Nissan Rogue, you've done the research in the Nissan Rogue, and I was, you know, 99% right about what you found. You know what I mean? I, I know what I'm talking about with, it. like, that car. I'm fucking obsessed with it. And she goes on to say that her car, one, it's a piece of junk. I know what she drives. My mom drove the same car. It's a piece of shit. Right? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. And she I, claims it's the most reliable fucking thing that she's ever given. And yet she has problems with it once every other month. <laughs> and, and, and here's the here's the deal about mechanics, bro. This these are made up problems. Oh, for sure. For like, sure. Well, it's also because you know, you, man, never, you, can, have, like, you can have little problems and then they'll take it in any double to big guys too. But yeah. here's the deal, like you're getting some probably does the same thing. You fill it up, it resets everything. It, it, it resets how many miles per gallon you're getting. <clears throat> and depending on how, how hard you drive it, reflects on how many miles to a tank you're getting. Oh, really? it's, it's, and that's what I was trying what to that, explain. What is that called? What do they call that whenever they project it? What is, if there's a certain, like, measuring, it's an official measuring, like, whenever you listen to an ad, miles per gallon? No, 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 no. There's like a measuring, you know, like, it's a, there's a name for it. It's what they project, like, okay, so if you're listening to an ad for a new car, they're like, oh, it's blank, 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 projected at this many oh. city miles. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, okay. for instance, like, it's three letters, I just don't know what, a, it's EPA. E- yes. Yes. E- yeah. yeah. Anyways, yeah, and how they do that is, you know, city, you get, how do you like my car gets 31 and city 40 on the highway, but 35 combined. Yeah, that's what it is. And it all depends. And, and then you're talking about like, okay, so me, me and you, we're driving majority highway miles. So we're going to get a little more miles per gallon. Like our combined, I get about 35. <laughs> what, what, oh what, my what, god. god. Versus my 14, bro. I mean, what, 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 I, you I signed the paperwork for that. I did not. Well, my, my, uh, I mean, I, 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 do have, I do have a second vehicle. My second vehicle does get 78, 76. And you never fucking drive it. Because he's scared of it. No, it's a collector's item. He only put miles on it. It is now. You can call it that, but... I mean, I still, I'm going to drive it tomorrow. I was going to take it tomorrow. Are you coming to work with us? No. I you, should. you should. I, I kind of don't want to. After what John been telling me about it, I don't know what's going on. No, tomorrow, tomorrow night, it's basically just me and Eddie, so... Yeah. 
How did that bitch? Oh shit. Is it really? I mean, it is. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna get off of it like at two. I can pull it up after. But we, um. <laughs> pull it up at like three. I get off at like two. I will, uh. It's like a great uh, set or fucking plan. It's like, a great mind. Great yeah, line. so 45 minutes from one through. Whatever, dude. No. No. Great line? Yes. Dude, at two or three, dude? That, that's like a. Dude, it's 45 minutes from here. What are you talking about? Take whatever. Dude, what are you talking about? To our story. Do you know, do you know where Grapevine is? Yes. I have to drive to the division office in two days. Yeah, but the division office. That's not Grapevine. That's not Grapevine. They're connected. Dude, like, no, dude, they're What are you talking about? You just said Grapevine are connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's like 15 minute difference between No, those. okay, well, here's the thing. Here's what well, part of Grapevine, that's the whole thing. So I, right. I'm talking about. You're right about there. See where I go. So 121. So, what I'm talking about, right, my dad's girlfriend lives on the border uh-huh. of Great Valley and Lucas. The division office is two blocks away from her house. It takes me anywhere from 45 to 50 minutes to get there. How does he crash? Well, what time, what time <laughs> day are you going? You're going 60, 65. Well, I mean, you are not going. I mean, I don't I mean, no, no, I don't no. speak. The speed limit of ninety percent of the way there is sixty five. Seventy. seventy. Yeah, once you once you hit the thirty seventy. Oh, you're going thirty. Most of the time, yeah. I go thirty. Well, one twenty one. One twenty one is. I don't think one twenty one. Yeah, where I'm where he's, he's going, going, he's going by the airport. So yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. That makes sense, but. Yeah. yeah, but is that? I mean, is that for me, for me, for me, I have gone one twenty one. I have done it, like. Because I just, you know, I, so I was gonna say, yeah. say I go home at like, uh, today I went home at like 2.30. I didn't make it home until like 3.30 because of like traffic and all that. Yeah. It's tra- traffic doesn't go through there. You, you wait until you yeah, the traffic. Tra- it shouldn't be like that at 2.30. Yes, it is, bro. It you should, should be like that at 5. No, you, have you ever worked, have you ever worked you, you ever work that freezing line? No. Okay. No. Oh, no. It, it's awful going on that. I don't even like leaving because I can't leave the parking lot. Yeah, you can't. It's it's hard. Man. Like you have to literally go that way, which is what north or what? Let's see. Yeah, it's north. Uh, you literally yeah. have to go north to be able to come back down south. Yeah, that's rough. It's trash. It's four lanes of and like highways right there. That's so so I go out there. I mean, like I go out there. My experience. My experience. Uh, I had traffic going uh, 120, we'll go, we'll say 121, and then yeah, you're cleaning up traffic, uh, and then going to do this where you say you're at the division office, yeah. and then once you hit uh, Bedford again, uh, I don't know what, 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 uh, what highway is that, uh, 820? Yeah, 820. No, it's 820. Yeah, it's 183, sorry. Yeah, 183. I was like, he's uh, all the way down here, dog. Uh, yeah. it's, I'm, I'm, I'm getting this stuff. Uh, you're in a bedroom, right? Yeah. You're in a bedroom, like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're See, you're that's, trying that's to where I'm going to get traffic twice. I, that's where I come in. It's 183. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you're going to traffic twice, like, at least two points there. It's yeah. pretty bad, dude. Dude, and then you're going. You're I'm going. Then you hit. Right? Then you. Did you. Two months ago? This last time I went Mm-hmm. Weekends are totally different ballgame. Yeah, we know this is totally different ballgame. No, weekend. I guess it was three months ago because I went and got my brakes fixed. My dad, see, that's what we do. That's what I was going to tell you. What we do is we'll take my, my car and get like an oil change or whatever, and you know, they rack up all the things that they say are wrong with my car. Then me and my dad will look at it and we'll fix whatever actually we do. So so yeah, so that's what, but that's what I did. I, I went and paid my ticket, half my tickets. So this was June. What this was your, what was your ticket for? Yeah, we all talk about. Anyways, <laughs> um, miles an hour. I was not going eighty. I was going sixty. Uh, according to according no, to the bro, there's there's a huge difference between going eighty and sixty. I was going sixty. Man, my ticket says I was going sixty one. But he was at forty mile per hour. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But I also don't think I was actually going sixty one. <laughs> Who were you really going, bro? Lover. I think that's called lover. You were like, lover? I mean, I was, no, 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 no. Sometimes an officer is not nice to me with the lower. Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that I was still speeding, yes, but I think it was going 55. Okay. And there was a car next to me that was going way faster than me, and they claimed 
they put me in. Yeah, they probably got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Sure fucking not. Two days later, I walk in on Monday, not a fucking coat, not a single one, not a, not a single 24 pack. None on the shelves. They're, the store is dry. Like, if somebody who goes to that corner every fucking day is telling you you did not order enough shit, you did not order enough shit. Because you ain't ever walked in that goddamn corner. You don't know how much you actually fucking need. Yeah, I don't know what Celsius is doing, okay? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. We don't even sell Celsius anymore. Like, is it an apple shelf just there? No, we had like a pallet. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, so for that, that little portion, there was that like six month period where Celsius was probably the most popular thing we were selling on. Mm-hmm. I know, right? Yeah. We don't fucking sell it anymore. We might sell what? Like, I mean, I was working the rest of your day. It's the morning, so I'm gonna say everybody buying their goddamn energy drink. Yeah. I probably sold seven all day, and I was up there for what? Uh, fucking dude. probably a couple of two hours today. Well, the thing is, you go to any store, Walmart, Kroger. I don't know about Albertsons, but I know those two, dude. You can buy like almost a case of that shit for like ten bucks. Yeah, but it's it's like the variety pack. So I don't exactly what you're fucking talking about. It's or, just God damn the logic of what we're doing at our store. <laughs> so, fucking backstop pisses me off more than anything else. When I look at them, I'm like, I know. We're at a fucking doctor pack every day, really. Like, are you fucking kidding me? What was that? We had like a, a three week period where we never had Dr. Pepper. Yeah, yeah. Like customers don't sleep that way. Yeah, no. Or when they wear it. I know they go out it's, it's on the inside. The customers, it's not even a manager's fault. It's never a manager's fault. It's whoever is nearest to them. Yeah. You fucking come up to me, like, I just walked in yesterday. I guess it was Monday. Like, like you could be literally walking in to your shit. And like, yeah, I'm not even walking yet. And they'll fucking, hey, you help me? I'm not even walked in yet, bro. What do you, what do you mean? Can yes. I help you? I, I had a customer literally tell me, I, I clocked out. Just clocked out. He comes up to me, he's like, hey, I want this. And I was like, oh, I'm clocked out. I'm not going to hold you. I worked there that night, bro. <laughs> the fucking Amish <laughs> motherfuckers that got mad. The, you got sorry, 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 sorry. Did I not tell you that? Was like, the lady. About, about the dude that was walking. So there's a dude walking around the store. It's uh-huh. fucking 11 or 10, 30 or something like that. And this dude's walking around the store. It's minding his own business without a shirt on. When have you ever seen anybody? It's fucking 100 degrees outside. I don't care if you're wearing a shirt or not. Like, you're not hurting anybody. You got pants on. You got, like, you got shoes on. I don't care. Like, it's hot. You don't want to wear your shirt. And nobody's in the store. There's fucking six people in the store. You don't want to wear your shirt. I don't care. I've never been told anything about kicking people out not wearing a shirt. Yeah. And, Oh no, 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 no. He was, he was wearing a shirt. He's wearing a white shirt that's unbuttoned. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So he's, this is just sort of like a middle part of his chest. So what the fuck are we gonna do about that? We're just out of me. Yeah, whatever. No, it was, didn't even have any hair. There was coming. literally nothing wrong with what this guy was doing. It was fucking beginning of summer. And these Amish people walk in. And he goes, he walks up to me. I could just clock out. But I knew what was about to happen. So I stayed to like, Listen to everything because I knew shit was going to go down. Yeah. And he goes, My daughter's already right here. Like, he's yelling at me, and I'm like, Sorry about that, you're going to talk to the manager. And I just kind of stood there and listened. But he's like, Flipping shit because this guy doesn't have a shirt buttoned, and we're not doing anything about it. Which, what's the, what's the rule? And you know, I, you know, like I said, I don't even get fucked if you're not wearing a shirt. Okay, so you had to have a shirt on. And I mean, he had a shirt on. So. And would you even force, like, if you're in here, sure. I don't know. In the middle of summer. In the middle of fucking summer. No. Okay. For the fire, for the supervisors, and all this, all whatever, what, what have you not, or a lot of BS, they can walk in naked. As long as they're gonna spend, like, money, pay for that thing, get out of there, they do not care. Well, they can't, they can't walk in naked. Yeah, like, who's gonna, who the fuck's gonna walk in naked? But if the supervisor, like, said, like, like if it's all supervisor, like, hey, they yelled at me for, well, okay, like, so I'm saying the, the classic rule is no shoes, no shirt, no surface, whatever. Well, that's, what that's, you, that's just a fucking, like, joke. You know, like, that's what movies fucking People come in like, without shoes on all the time. All the yeah. Time. I have all the time. And I make sure you pull out the mop and just start mopping the floor. As yeah, as you are. Like, <laughs> well, you're going to regret the mop. My, 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 my cousin's walking in with the dirtiest shoes ever created and they make a fucking mess and you still fucking go there and clean that shit yeah. up. But that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. wait, 
I'm not. That's and right. I'm concerned about the money. Your no shoes, no shirt, no surface shit is just something you see in TV shows and movies. I don't know, like, I've seen bars, like, have them posted, and then you still walk in and motherfuckers out of the swimsuits. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. And this guy comes up, and he's just fucking going in on us because he won't make a guy butt his shirt on. Yeah. And to our Amish listeners, we're sorry. I'm not. Well. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that, that caught me off guard. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> fuck the Amish. What are they going to fucking do? Listen to this? Maybe. Or like the guy that got mad because the semi was broken down. On our lot. They're talking about the one that was broken in half. Dude, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even say, what, was that on a Sunday? What happened? It's all about that. I don't know. That's crazy. That thing was. <laughs> I was like, what? How do you fucking know? I, I really don't know. That shit was wild. Well, so, what? Did you even see what they, they did? It was there for like seven hours, bro. It happened like maybe an hour after you left. And it was dead ass there for like seven hours. And it was there when I left. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was just split half, dude. Did, did you see my story that day? No, the semi that was like in the entrance that was like. <laughs> Some of must have fell and just. <laughs> no, they said that it was carrying too much weight and they took that turn too fast or something and that bump literally made the whole thing cave in. Hi, I showed it to all my friends and they were like, uh, we were, they were like, uh, I was like, I see this at least like, we can see this on a regular basis. Like, and then people are mad down and my friends were like, what the fuck? Like, they thought it was the craziest thing they've ever seen, bro. And I was like, this is like less than half the bullshit I see on a weekly basis. And you haven't ever said about all the listeners? Why are you listening? <laughs> First of all, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, but I'm glad that didn't go over your head. It did for a second. It did for a second, and then I was no, like, no, I, 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 I did have to think, bro. I, I got, got it so good. good. I got it so good. <laughs> But I'm like, is he really asking me this question right now? No, yeah, I was, I was like, I said, fuck Amish people. And he goes, sorry to our Amish listeners. And I was like, what the fuck do you mean? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, but yeah. You got anything else? On the app today? I feel like we... I feel like this might have been like our best like flow episode yet. And it started with your... Uh, we didn't even have, like, his question, his question. It's part of the hypothetical thing. I think that might be fucking, that might be an old, I thought that was a pretty good idea. Yeah. I like that idea. It, it kind of woke us up. We got into, like, that flow state that it takes a second to get into. That was, that was my thought process was that, like, it's, it's almost like a warm up. Yeah. You know, we come, so now, next time we meet, which I know is going to be in, like, a week and a half, but Sorry, the next time we meet, we will ask the question. We'll go, uh, we'll go clockwise. So you got, you got a week and a half. Alright. I have to come up with something really good because most of the shit that we come up with is dumb. Yeah. But, I mean, no, I'll, I'll get something good. I'll, get, I'll, I'll even send it to the president before I even say it. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. The best part about it is you can't think about it. Okay. Yeah. Like, like, I told, I told Eddie I had a question, and the only thing I said to him was, it's not cars. And that was it. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, no idea what was happening. Okay. I like that idea, man. That's this, this, this world with this. And I didn't ask. I say we just start raw dogging unless we have a guess. Dude, yeah. I mean, we'll, 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 I'm not slow, man. Yeah, well, this is one thing we have a topic for guess. It looks like the audio is going to be better today. That's, that's yeah. good. Heck yeah. So so like, this was like the most interesting conversation. Like, you know, we all had something to say. Dude, I, yeah. There so wasn't very many awkward silences. I feel like we're kind of starting to get the podcast thing down. I'm so hyped as fuck about the Christmas episode. I am too, dude. That's gonna be badass, bro. Yeah, uh, Prime, you were stay, stay at least until the Christmas episode comes out. You really get our vibes, man. I'm really sure like, I mean, I the fourth person will we'll be by then. My god. Might be COVID. <laughs> That's who knows? Who knows, dude? Yeah, so. I think it'd be good to, like, really talk to that man, man. Like, I talked to him today. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't do that. 
Are you doing something? Just trying to get for it. So I want to I wanna thank our special guest. Two weeks in a row, Tracy's been hammering it out. Coming up here, vibing with the boys. I like to stop you being over. Wait, I'm scared. I'm like, I've been scared this whole time because you're lying, bro. Who's going to hit the outro? Uh, I can just hit the outro, man. Let's, let's hear it, man. It's been your boys. Wait, wait, wait. It's been your boys from Workers' Comp. Three guys not doing a damn thing. <laughs> let's go.